Welcome to the Maryland Mortgage Rate Weekly Mortgage Market Update for the week of April 7th, 2014. Hello, I'm John Thomas with Primary Residential Mortgage here to give you an update. Well, last week was definitely a good week for Maryland mortgage rates. Mortgage rates had been trending higher, but were able to reverse course and move lower on Friday. If you take a look at the bond chart on the screen, you can see the big green candle up on Friday. After the jobs report came out, mortgage bonds were at a rally back and um, spike higher, which moved rates lower. Now, previous to that, you can see the bonds were selling off, and that was moving interest rates higher. So we got a little reprieve. Interest rates did move lower again, but we did hit a tough ceiling of resistant 200-day moving average. So you want to cautiously float your Maryland mortgage rate to start the week to see if we can continue on these gains. But if we fail to break above that 200-day moving average, it would force bonds lower and move interest rates higher again. So if that happens, quickly switch to a locking stance. So let's dig into that jobs report that came out on Friday. The first thing we noticed was 192,000 jobs were added in March 2014, but the uh, unemployment rate did tick up from 6.6 to 6.7%. So not a great news there. But the labor force participation rate did move up from 63 to 63.2%. Now that is good news because that measures how many people 16 years and older are actually working. So that moving up is a good sign. If that moves down, that's bad. Now we still are near a 35 year low, so we definitely got to get the LFPR up, but it moving up was a good sign that was in the jobs report as well. And then Thursday we saw the weekly initial jobless claims came out and they did tick higher by 16,000 claims up to 323,000 claims. So that's not good news because it's been falling, but maybe that's an anomaly, so we've got to see if it can resume falling. If it starts on an upward trend for jobless claims, that would not be good news for the labor market. Um, in the housing news, CoreLogic reported that home prices appreciated 12.2% from February 2013 to February 2014. So that is great news. That's the 24th consecutive month year over year home price appreciation. So home prices are definitely moving up. But the market is cooling off some in 2014. We probably won't have double digit appreciation, but home prices will continue up because we are still 17% below the highs we saw in 2006. So there's plenty of upside in the real estate market. So it's still a great time to get out there and purchase a home if you're on the fence. Uh, and we also had some, another report from CoreLogic on housing foreclosures. Uh, our debt, foreclosure inventory is down 35% from a year ago. And mortgages with serious delinquency only represent 4.9% of all mortgages. That is great news. So as the less people are delinquent on the mortgage, the less homes go into foreclosure. So that's good news for the housing market. Uh, and, and then in the Senate, there's a bill going to the floor of the Senate for them to vote on. And that is, in that bill, is something to reinstate the Mortgage Debt Forgiveness Act, which expired December 31st, 2013. Now, that act allows somebody that has a short sale or foreclosure to not have to pay tax on the amount they were forgiven. Typically, the IRS will charge you tax on a debt that's forgiven. So, if you owe $200,000 on a house and short sold it for one fifty, that $50,000 is considered a taxable income that was forgiven by your lender. Now, the Debt Forgiveness Act, Mortgage Debt Forgiveness Act, says you're not obligated to pay tax on that. Well, that expires. That's not good news. So this bill is trying to reinstate that and make it retroactive to the first of the year, which is great news for people that are trying to get out from under an underwater house from short sale or foreclosure. So keep a lookout for that. We'll keep you updated to see if it does pass the Senate and move to the House. In the local news, the next free first time home buyer seminar is going to be in Rockville, Maryland. That is Saturday, April 12th. That's from 10 a.m. to noon. That's at the Rockville Hilton Hotel. And then the next one in Towson is Saturday, April 26th from 10 a.m. to noon at the Baltimore Sheraton North Hotel on Delaney Road. You can register for either one of those events by giving us a call in the office at 410-412-3319 or online www.MarylandHomeBuyerSeminars.com. Look forward to talking to you guys next week.